Hello, my fellow sneaker heads. This is Sneaker Resident Benjamin Scott. Welcome to a brand new episode of Sneaker Jams, The Last Dance Era. And on today's new episode, I'm going to show you a pair of Air Joys that are absolutely badass. Check them out. Whoa! Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at these bad boys right here. These are the playoff Air Jordan 8s. Here's some sneaker facts. These shoes were released back on January the 1st, 1993. 30 years ago. That's amazing. I mean, check out the texture of the shoe, y'all. Check this out. I love its red, black, and a little bit of white on the side of the shoe. And same thing on this side as well. And I also like the strap right here. See that strap right there? Right after you put on your shoe, you can also... Strap it up with number 23. And on the tongue, you can see the Jumpman logo right there, baby. Yes, 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 yes. And on the bottom of the shoe, it has its CBC approval. Comfortable, balanced, and casual. And of course, not to mention, basketball shoe wear as well. <laughs> Here's some more sneaker facts. These shoes were on sale on StockX.com. Or get this, $135. Hey, that's not so bad. Good luck putting that in your sneaker budget. <laughs> I have worn these boys time and time and time again. No doubt about that. I even worn them last year on the day before my birthday. And of course, shout out to Tanya who gave me these awesome shirts. Thank you, Tanya. That means a lot to me. And, of course, you can see me in both Runway shows and photo shoots. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I know you do. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I'm a sneakerhead, and I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're definitely going to see me wear these bitches every day. And, of course, they're made by Tinker Hatfield himself. <laughs> you gotta love them. And speaking of playoff eights. June 19th, 1993, it was game six of the 1993 NBA Finals. The Bulls were up three to two, and of course, Charles Barkley at that time was part of the Phoenix Suns. Now, he was looking forward to win his first NBA championship with his team, but Michael Jordan and the Bulls, they worked together and they fought hard to go for a three-peat until John Paxton made the winning shot. And let me tell you all this. This was way before Michael Jordan's first retirement. But, of course, the Bulls got their first three-peat from 1991, 92, and 93. No doubt about that. I watched that game. It was amazing, and it was awesome. And, of course, it was the same day that Michael Jordan lost his dad. No doubt about that. And, of course, shout out to Michael Jordan and many more. And I'm hoping and hoping I get a chance to meet you someday, Mike. 100%. You are an inspiration. No doubt about that. You're an inspiration to all of us. Every day, all day, 100%. That's why you will forever will be the greatest of all time. No doubt. You are the GOAT, 100%. And I mean that for real. <laughs> when I mean for real, oh, baby, I mean for real. No questions asked. <laughs> and don't forget, y'all, casual sneakers are still the best in the fashion industry. You can dress up. You can dress down. It's all about being yourself. Now, if you can't be yourself, well, nobody can accept you. And once again, I mean for real. When I mean for real, oh baby, once again, I mean for real. No questions asked. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in to the next episode where Michael Jordan made his comeback during the 95-96 Bulls season. And you'll never know what pair of Jordans that he worn that day. That's for me to know and you to find out. Stay tuned to the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless y'all. Be safe. Be well. And as always, this is Sneaker Resident Benjamin Scott saying, I'll see you guys next time.
So God bless y'all. Peace. And always remember, lace them up and kick it with sneaker jams. Later.